This is it. To balance out all the negative things and solve my stagnant curiosities with Luna's comics and personality, through mutual contact I was able to ask them a couple of questions I had in mind, and based off of some comments as well. Before we start, this is a little PSA. In the comments of both videos, people were saying shit like, This is why I hate gay people. People who go to Pride to go to prison. Not the friend of the LGBT community, but that's not anywhere near what we're, we're aiming for. Laugh, cry, and enjoy the experience, but don't just attack a group of people that is nowhere near what we're looking at. With that over with, I'd asked Luna a few questions from me, and some based off my comments, and was lucky enough to get their entire responses. Let's be prepared to uh, listen or read, you feel me? How do you feel about the folks online reviewing you on these channels that talk about personal stories, drama, and interesting things on the internet? And how do you deal with this criticism? As a reference, I'm only asking to remain neutral, as I like some of your more recent comics. I've only seen a few of the videos that you're talking about. I prefer to stay out of it. Those are their opinions, and I won't be able to change them no matter what I say or do. And while I don't mind criticism or welcome what's helpful, some criticism is just disguised bigotry and hatred, which I try to distinguish between. Another question. A lot of the time you're reviewed in older comics. How do you your Yourself feel about your old comics. I hate my old style of work. There's a reason I'm constantly trying to better it. I know the anatomy was terrible, the color and shading even worse, which is why I've been working on improving it. I know I'm still not perfect, but I feel a lot better about it. Do you think some people are reading too much into your expressions of your characters? Some individuals who have critiqued your comics have stated you seem a bit too annoyed or even aggressive toward the anons you've drawn. I think that people are putting a little too much thought into it. Sure, I do show myself frustrated, but never without reason, and a lot of the situations are given a bit of exact exaggeration. I almost never say the things I do in my comics. The comments I get from others are true, but not always my responses. I'm just trying to vent my frustrations. If people don't understand the reasoning, then the comic isn't meant for them. Now, here's where I ask my list. <clears throat> Hi Luna, hope you're doing well. I go by Wolf Aside. I've made two videos regarding your comics in the past, so I'd like to first apologize if you have witnessed them that I was too hostile or immature. I attempt to make things fun and respect on your behalf. With that aside, I have a few questions to you personally and such that I'm curious about. Regarding your alternate blog and the Vor stuff, this is something I've been certainly confused about, all jokes aside. Is the kink from a romantic slash friendship perspective? I'm ignorant regarding kinks, and with you being asexual and such, I was wondering from your perspective how it is. This question was declined an answer. What has inspired you to run your blog and comic? After reading about you previously, I noticed it's been about half a decade since you started, so I was curious how your motivation drives with it. My motivations have changed since I first started drawing this comic, as it began around my experiences as an asexual using online dating services and my hardships there, but now it's become more about other forms of bigotry and hatred I've experienced, as well as shitty puns. I keep going because of the awesome followers that, have, that want me to continue, as well as my continued personal experiences. I was first inspired to start by other LGBT comic artists, such as Sophie Label and her comic Assigned Male and others. Now, this is more of an interest question. How many Pride events have you been to? I've actually been to two of them. I don't really have the funds to get involved too much and thought, I'd l and though I'd like to attend more, I just can't find the time. And since I don't drink or party and I have sincere and I have sin and since I also don't drink or party and I have sincere social anxiety, that also makes it difficult for me to go out. But I might try again in the future. The next questions are generalized from the comments. Why do you tend to draw the antagonists as great people? I decided to go with the gray anonymous individual because I didn't want any one group of people to feel singled out with a more detailed drawing. A lot of the people only read one or two of my comics for making a judgment call on me, so to avoid someone believing I only make the antagonists one certain way, I chose to model them after the Tumblr anonymous icon instead. How do you usually react to all the memes? I don't really care about those too much, to be honest. I prefer to just stay out of it. Have you turned people's opinions around when it comes to asexuality? My goal isn't to necessarily change people's minds about asexuality, but they show support for others in the community by showing that they aren't alone in their struggles. Standing up for what I believe in is more important for the other people around me than it is for myself for those I'm standing up against. How do you feel about people turning their disagreement to bigotry and blatantly attempting to invalidate certain sexualities? I am a highly inclusive person, and I don't approve of those who purposely attempt to exclude others simply because I identify a different way from the exclusionist. While I do have my boundaries, such as illegal slash immoral sexualities, so as long as the person in question is not harming anyone else by existing and being proud of their existence, then they should be invited in with open arms, not ridiculed. And the final question. Is there anything you want to say for the audience and the people on other platforms? Primarily, my viewers who've seen the content about you. All I can really say about the negativity is that there will always be someone who hates you no matter what you do, and will find any reason to hate you, even if they have to fabricate reasons to do so. But that doesn't necessarily mean you're doing the wrong thing. It's just how life is. Hatred and anger always speaks loudest out of any group, so remember to turn up the volume on the 
the positivity in your life. It's always there, no matter how small it might seem. And that ends the series of questionnaire. I have high respect and regard for Luna, as they were quite professional and kept it at a cool mature level when it came to this conversation. I did not expect it to go this far. Two days after the video uploaded, I woke up to a text from said mutual who wanted to get me in contact with them for some questions. If opinions of Luna were swayed because of this video, I'm glad to hear it. I guess recommendation could be the best medicine sometimes. My question about the Vor account was certainly not necessary, so my fault for that one. But after two videos of one neutral ground questionnaire, this concludes the files on anonymously sexual. A huge shout out for the support. This is my biggest month on YouTube yet, and always remember, take care.